Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Creator Sim video in The Sims 4. So today we're actually creating the B-Listers household. Now this is a household that I created for the Tides Changing um, Get Famous Let's Play. So I did give this family a backstory and all of that stuff and I also only used minimal custom content on these guys. The only custom content I used were Kajiko's eyelashes and the lip kits from Urban Sims. So I will leave links to both of those down below in the description if you guys wanted to download them. But yeah, so I thought I'd tell you a bit about the family since, like I said, I did have kind of a backstory for all of them. So for this family, we have three guys that have been living together for the past four years. They've been roommates for four years. But they've actually been best friends since, you know, early in their high school career. So I thought they would be now in their like mid-twenties maybe. And, you know, the first guy we're creating is Kyle Flanagan. So Kyle is a famous musician or he wants to be a famous musician. Obviously, they're all B-list celebrities. And I think that's, yeah, that's the, that's the three star. So they're basically three star celebrities, basically. All, all four of these sims are three star celebrities and kyle is actually in the um in the entertainer career and all of that stuff and he's a music lover ambitious and athletic and yeah he he's basically the famous musician of the household and he lived with his two best friends ryan who's a famous social media you know f famous social media star so he's basically an influencer and he wants to be a world famous celebrity and he's ambitious self-absorbed and athletic and then we also have the other guy in the group whose name is Clark Granger and he's a writer he's the author of the group he's a bit more like held back than the other two or not held back but he's a little bit more I don't know quiet I guess um, Ra Kyle and Ryan both have very you know flamboyant personalities they're very loud they're very outgoing they you know, like socializing with other people, but then you have Clark, who's a loner, a bookworm, and good. So he's more like the quiet one of the group. So those are the three guys. Now, we're creating Angela right now, Angela Marks, and she's actually an artist. She's a famous artist. She's, you know, her paintings have really started taking off, you know, getting her, earning her more notoriety and all of that stuff. She wants to be a painter extraordinaire and she's creative, good and hot-headed. So the story goes that, you know, these four three guys have been living together for four years. They live in San Marcino, in my head anyway. They live in San Marcino in a penthouse. And, you know, about a year ago, maybe a little under a year, Kyle and Clark were out at a venue. They were out at the art gallery, you know, attending a famous show, I think maybe... Maybe Carl was performing something or something like that, maybe an art expo, expo or something. And they saw this, you know, this young woman across the room, you know, displaying her artwork, you know, doing her own show. And, you know, Clark being, you know, more held back, more like, he's a bit, he's a bit quieter, he is a loner, so, you know, being social and putting himself out there isn't like his forte, basically. So... He basically kind of got a little bit of a crush on her, you know, just from observing her from across the room, basically. And, you know, Kyle being the more confident of the two of them, he went up to her, they started talking, and, you know, one thing led to another, and they started dating. Now, recently, Kyle has asked Angela to move into their penthouse with them, you know, since it is a penthouse, I thought maybe it would have, like, five or six bedrooms, so they would have more than enough space to, you know, have an extra person in the house. Especially since obviously she'd be sharing a bedroom with Kyle. So she wouldn't have her own room or anything. But yeah, so basically she has now moved in with these three guys. And she's not as ambitious as Kyle is. She's still ambitious. She still wants to make it big and all of that. But she's a bit more like go with the flow. You know, things will come. You know, don't, you know, focus all of your attention on, you know, just getting famous and just, you know, getting to the top. That's kind of the way Angela is. 
but you know with Ryan, with Ryan he's kind of like he's kind of the only unhappy one in the household at the moment he doesn't really like Angela all that much he thinks that you know she's a bad influence on Kyle and not that she's a bad influence but Ryan and Kyle you guys will notice from their traits that they are very similar Ryan and Kyle are definitely very similar you know in the fact that they're athletic they're ambitious you know they want to make it big and Ryan thinks that Angela is putting kind of like a damper on their like success basically he thinks she's putting a damper on Kyle she's holding him back she's no not encouraging him to focus all of his attention on his career the way that Ryan does the way that Ryan thinks they should all be doing you know to make it big to make to become more even more famous and even richer so yeah he is a bit self-obsessed and in a way he is kind of jealous of the fact that Kyle now spends a lot of his time with Angela instead of with him and Clark now Clark doesn't have a problem with that but he has like his own little issue with the fact that he is still secretly in love with Angela she doesn't know it you know she's noticed him staring at her you know every now and then but you know she doesn't think anything of it you know C Clark is a little bit of the it's a little bit of the weird one in the group he's kind of socially awkward and all of that stuff so she doesn't think anything of it but secretly he is kind of in love with her and he's kind of upset about the fact that you know he didn't have the courage to go up to her first since maybe if he had you know when he and when he and Kyle were at that art expo maybe if he was the one to go up to her he would have maybe ended up with her instead of Kyle and yeah he's a little bit jealous about that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this creator sim I really like the way these sims turned out if you guys did like them give this video a like and remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and you want to stick around and also remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of whenever I post a new video but yeah like I said I hope you guys enjoyed these sims and enjoyed their story if you did you know leave your comments down below any suggestions or you know comments that you guys have leave those in the comments and I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys. Stay cool. Oh man, I think I might be going crazy. Cause all I really, really want is to be with you. And I'm like, I'm saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm doing just fine But I'm getting, getting And I cry when you're not around Because it matters, matters Dreaming of your kisses In the nighttime Knowing what I'm missing But I feel like Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm fine But I'm scattered We're just friends Say that I'm alright, cry on the inside I wish you were my man Hey, I say I'm doing